In the previous video, we have set up WordPress on our local machine and we have installed a JWT authentication plugin. Uh, so first, we need to configure some values for this plugin. So for this, we need to go to our WordPress installation. We will open our WordPress folder in, in the text editor of our choice. I'm using Sublime Text. We need to go to WP config and we can see here first we need to okay so first we need to edit our ht access file and add these values so we will go to our ht access file first and paste these values here and after that we need this statement too and then after that hmm, okay now we need to go to our wp config file and paste this values here so paste it here and then this one for this top secret key okay we can go to this URL and copy any value so let's say this one and we need to paste it here okay oh sorry now the configuration is set now we need to restart our server Now the next step is we we can view our restful routes at the following URL slash wp slash wp json Here we can see we have mainly three different routes or three different namespaces and the main one we will be concerned with are JWT and WP. So if we go to WP slash V2, so if we need to view our posts, we can go to WP slash V2 or WP slash V2 slash posts. So we can view all the posts that are in our database or in the WordPress install. So let's say if I need to change this hello world to hello world update. So now if I update it here, you can see hello world update. Okay. So what we need to do is we can only view the posts here but for creating, updating and deleting the posts we need to make use of uh, JWT auth routes. So what we can do is we need to go to uh, postman, we will open the postman and in the postman Let me first check the routes. Okay, so we need to go to emulator. So first, we will select post route and then we will use the base URL and after that. 
uh, we can use this URL and paste it here now it is expecting two fields the first one is I think username let's select this one username and second one is password so for username or email we can use admin or for the password it is password now if I send it we can see we have got the token back so this is the token we will be using to authenticate our requests uh, so let's create a new post using this token so we need to go to our headers tab we will use a authorization header and here we will use a bearer and for the token that we just copied okay for the URL we will use this URL post URL and Uh, for the body we can use title this is from postman and for the body the field is content this is the description if you are wondering how do I know these fields you can go to WPJSON and then go to uh, I think it is posts then we can see which methods are supported here is a get method and yeah here we can see the post method and the different fields that we can use id date slug status password title and content or you can find more information about this on uh, developer.wordpress.org and rest api here we can go to posts and you can see we have all the fields listed here and the URL all right so now we can press send and we can see the new post has been created so if we go to posts all posts now you can see this is from postman now it is draft so if we add let's say new post with the status field as publish this is from postman maybe let's use postman new and send it now if we see all posts it is published all right see you in the next video